y'all. Pam here with Be Creative Crafts and welcome back. So y'all, this is going to be a video update on my medical journey. Um, thank you to, again to everybody that has reached out to me through messages, emails, comments on videos. Thank y'all so very much. I appreciate it. I, um, I really do. Okay, so where do we stand now? Um, I have met with oncology. And I have had my follow up with a surgeon after my surgery. Um, we are four weeks out from surgery now. Um, and this is what I know as of right now. Um, so my cancer was a stage one. Um, they caught it very, very early. So the uh, coligard and the colonoscopy did what they were supposed to do, which was detect the cancer very, very early on. So y'all, if you've not had your screening, you are 45 or older, or if your family has a history of colon cancer, get your get your colon screening on the books. Get it scheduled. Get it done. Um, because it did what it was supposed to do. Um, my cancer was stage one, which is the very earliest stage of cancer. Um, and um, the polyp that I had, the cancer had not infiltrated the... Um, colon wall. So it had not broken through the colon. It had not gotten into the lymph nodes. Um, so I'm very grateful and very lucky that both my surgeon and oncologist feel like it has all been removed from my body, um, that um, I will not require chemo or radiation, which is a blessing. Um, they feel like they got it all. So what does that mean going forward? Um, I will have another scan in January, a follow-up CT scan um, that will just to make sure that everything still looks good. Um, and then I will repeat a colonoscopy in a year. So I have my colonoscopy in September, so I'll have another colonoscopy in September. Um, I have a follow-up with my surgeon in six months just to make sure everything is still healing properly, um, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at on that. Um, trying to think if there was anything else. They did test um, the sample that, or the, uh, I won't say a sample, the, the section that they removed, it was tested um, to see if it was hereditary. Um, it was not. It is not. There's a way that they can test to see that if it's hered if it's hereditary, um, but it is not. Well, so what does that mean? That means that my immediate family members, my children, they do not have to have genetic testing done. I don't have to have genetic testing done um, because it's not it's not shown that something that is hereditary. It's just something that you know happens. Um, while polyps do run in our family, um, the cancer did not. Um, so. Um, she does recommend, the, the oncologist does recommend that um, that instead of getting tested at 45, that my children get tested 10 years prior to the age I was at diagnosis. So that they need to get tested at 41 instead of 45, they need to have their colonoscopy done. So they're just going to have to have theirs done a little bit earlier. And basically that is just because um, they, if they have any polyps or they want to catch them before um, cancer has a chance to, to form. So that's where we are on that. Um, I know I told y'all I had some shorts that I was going to put up. I have not done that yet. And I apologize for that, but um, I will get those put out. Um, and I think that's about it, really, um, as far as what's going on with me currently. Um, how am I healing? I'm healing very well. I'm able to get around very well. Um, no trouble getting up and down. Um, I'm still on light duty as far as lifting stuff. Um she said four to six weeks. Um, so I don't need to be lifting heavy, heavy items. Um, but um, other than that, I mean, I'm, I'm doing really, really well. Um, I did wear a pair of blue jeans the other day. They did not feel very well. Um, made me very aware that I still have incisions. And I think it was more so because I've been wearing like stretchy pants, sweatpants, yoga pants, that kind of stuff. Um, which have a lot of give and the blue jeans don't. And also um, I was cleared to go back to work. So I did work half a day yesterday. Um, 
only half a day because I had my oncology appointment yesterday morning. I, I was cleared to go back to work yesterday for the whole day. Um, but um, I think it's more so is that because while I've been at home recouping, I'm able to kind of recline and keep all of the incision stuff kind of relaxed. When I went back to work, you know, now I'm sitting up and leaning forward. So that's putting those incisions in a different position than what they've been used to for the last month. And so um, I think that had a lot to do with it. And when I leaned forward, you know, the blue jeans were hitting my stomach in a different way. Um, so I think that had a lot to do with it. So I'm going to put the blue jeans back on the back burner, <laughs> so to speak. I'm not going to be wearing blue jeans um, for a while um, until I know that they're healed up a little bit more. Um, or maybe, maybe at least like go to work for another week and get my incisions and stuff adjusted to the fact that I'm going to be leaning forward, typing on the computer because I can't continually lean back to do what I need to do. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Uh, I think that's it y'all. I think that's really it. Um, I just wanted to pop on because I know a lot of y'all have been asking me how I've been doing and I haven't done an update here lately. Um, I have been going live, but I haven't really been talking about my medical journey um, because I like to try to keep my lives about the crafting and the yarn or whatever craft we're doing. And um, so I've been trying to keep, the, keep them separate, but I know everybody has been wanting to know. Well, I won't say everybody. I know a lot of you have reached out to me and have been asking. So I just wanted to give y'all an update. So that's what's been going on. Um, yeah, so I'm doing good. I'm doing really well. I'm getting around very well, walking well, up and down, sleeping. Everything has been going really well. Um, now that I've had all of my update or I've met with oncology, I've had the follow up with the surgeon. I feel a lot better knowing what the um, what the, the official diagnosis and and the stage and and where it was at. And, and you know, that was a big relief. I'm very thankful for for that outcome. And um, yeah. If it had been a stage two, then my treatment would have been drastically different going forward. So, um, so yes, I'm very, very fortunate in that it was caught early. So, again, y'all, I'm going to say this over and 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 over. And y'all are going to be like, girl, stop. But no, get your colon screaming. If your doctor does not tell you or ask you about it, ask your doctor. If you go in for your if you're 45 or over and you go in for your wellness visit or you go into the doctor for whatever reason, you have a cold, whatever. When you're in there, say, hey, doc, I haven't had my colon screening yet. Can we go ahead and get that scheduled today? Get it scheduled. Get it scheduled. Do your screenings. Um, yeah, early detection is key, y'all. So get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. When I was 45, it was not the age that it was. I don't, I think, I think it, it has changed. Should I have gotten it done prior to when I did? Yeah, probably. But it was never presented to me by the doctor when I went in for any of my appointments um, until this last time I went in and my friend um, that I went to see was like, hey, have you not had this done yet? It did not get scheduled during my wellness visit. I did not think to ask about it. So, you know, could it have been prevented? Could I have caught it earlier? I would like to think that if I had got it done at 45, you know, maybe it would not have already been developed into cancer. Um, the polyp may have already been there, but maybe they could have removed it before it had gotten that far. Um, so y'all get, get tested, get tested, get your screening, get your, get your screenings, get your colonoscopy, do the Cologuard, whichever one. Um, the Cologuard is what caught mine. That's what I initially did. I did the color guard. It came back out of range. It came back positive. It came back with abnormal sales. And that's when we went forward and did the colonoscopy. Um, so, yeah, y'all get tested. Get check, get your screening done. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Um, yeah. But so, yeah, that's where we're at. That's what's that's what's going on. That's that's how I'm doing. Um, so, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's where we're at. <laughs> Um, so I guess I'm gonna get off of here. I know y'all get tired of hearing me say, um, <laughs> but that's what, that's where we're at. Um, so yeah, have a fabulous day, y'all. Remember, be creative, and until next time, happy crafting. Bye!